The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Welcome to The David Pakman Show. Big, big show today. If you've been paying attention to the news over the last 24 hours, you saw this leaked video of Mitt Romney where Mitt Romney was surreptitiously recorded at a campaign event on or around May 17th saying, he doesn't care about 47% of Americans. He doesn't care about the people that are just definitely going to vote for Obama, the victims, the people who pay no income tax, who just live off of the government. Let's get a look at the video. This is what Mitt Romney, the guy who cares about, I don't know, he cares about people apparently. He wants to be president. This is what he had to say about, about 150 million people, as he claims. There are 47% of the people who will vote for the president no matter what. All right, there are 47% who are with him, who are dependent upon government, who believe that, that they are victims, who believe that government has a responsibility to care for them, who believe that they are entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it. But that's, that's an entitlement, and the government should give it to them. And they will vote for this president no matter what. And, and I mean, the president starts off with 48, 49, 48. He starts off with a huge number. These are people who pay no income tax. Forty-seven percent of Americans pay no income tax. Hmm. So our message of low taxes doesn't connect. And he'll be out there talking about tax cuts for the rich. I mean, that's what they sell every every four years. And uh, and so my job is not to worry about those people. I'll never convince them that they should take personal responsibility and care for their lives. What I have to do is convince the five to ten percent in the center that are independent, that are thoughtful, that look at voting one way or the other, dependent upon. In some cases, emotion, whether they like the guy or not. That's crazy. Okay. So this is craziness. I love the fact that he. we have so much. We're going to fact check the entire thing. But before we actually do that, the one part I didn't notice before is uh, where he says, those people who pay no income taxes don't care about the Republicans saying they'll lower their taxes because they already pay no taxes. Can, could you be any dumber? Could, could, you, could, could he possibly really believe that? That 48 to 49 percent of the people who are voting for Obama pay no taxes? No, that the reason they don't care about Republicans promising low taxes is because they also, they already don't pay any taxes. In other words, it's ridiculous. I think both are, are a false premise. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So then we go on. And uh, first of all, number one, the guy whose own plan would give himself millions of dollars in tax cuts is saying that the problem is Obama's voters want free stuff. <laughs> I mean, th this is just completely absurd. And by the way, uh, talk about yet another knee-jerk response going out there and doing this panicked press conference last night at 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, that, that's a, not only a sign of panic, but it's the same type of knee-jerk response that he was criticized for with the Libya speech. Natan, I know you've been watching all this. You want to get in on this. Natan thinks the campaign is over. Yeah, I mean, I think the campaign is done uh, for obvious reasons, but I just wanted to point out one specific thing, because I know you're going to talk about a lot of the things that I would say uh, in a few minutes. But uh, if you look at his delivery in this video, he is more relaxed, more freewheeling, and seems to be stuttering a lot less than he is on the campaign trail. If you look at him, this is the real Mitt Romney. This is the guy who's going off the cuff and saying what he really thinks. Absolutely. It in every other situation you see him on TV on camera, he is so stiff. Right. He is so rigid. He is so uh, robotic, if you will. The idea that this isn't really what he meant, and we'll get to the press conference, that this isn't the real Mitt. So what you want us to believe, Mitt Romney strategist and Republican strategist, is that when Mitt Romney does a read the scripted speech off of, the, of a teleprompter, that's the real Mitt. But Mitt talking behind what he thinks are closed doors to people that are, that are supporting him and giving him money, that's a fake Mitt. That's the Mitt that makes mistakes about what he says, even though his delivery is clearly indicative of the opposite. That doesn't make any sense. By the way, Fox News, of course, um, no mention of the leaked video basically all night last night. Um, uh, uh, this morning, finally, it showed up. Romney standing firm on Obama victims remark. That was on foxnews.com. 